Christmas. Uh, <laughs> how's your Christmas Eve been? I'm gonna be on the vlog really quickly. Hello, vlog. Where's Dad? Where's Dad? Hello, vlog. <laughs> Merry Christmas from Australia. We have woken up in Byron Bay and I thought I would do a little daily vlog of what it's like to spend Christmas Day abroad as a Brit in Australia. Tom's in the Christmas spirit. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> They're so small. It was kind of like Christmas Eve night at home when I woke up, so I called my mum. But right now, it's Christmas morning. How are you feeling? Festive, actually. More I... festive than I thought. Yeah. Although I feel like that's kind of it now. You actually look ridiculous. I can't with that. <laughs> We've done everything. No, we haven't. Stop that. We haven't been to the beach. We haven't had a barbecue. But yeah, we're going to flash back to show you what we got up to this morning. Okay. Yeah. So... What does that mean? I get one first. Wrapping, the wrapping budget was not good this year, guys. I'm gonna give you the last one first, because that's how gift giving works. I bought one for myself as well. What are they? <laughs> Two pack travel compression bags. Fit more in your luggage. I thought this might give us loads of space in our bags. It'll help. Wrapping at its finest here. Um, uh, this is a good gift. It's an Aero Mint. You've got to get some chocolate on you Christmas. Do. And I actually didn't get you any, so I was like, I've got to get you something. Mint chocolate Aero was always my go-to when I was a child. Is it a card game? Maybe. Oh, Monopoly. Oh, can we play this today? Yeah, that's what I Yay, thought. Yay, it's not a Christmas without Monopoly. That's what I thought. Monopoly thought. bid. Ha! <laughs> SJ. SJ. From my memory of you wearing that, I think it actually smells the same. Sorry. I'll know straight away if it doesn't taste the same. Taste? Smell. It's not bad, it's a nice smell. I actually think that's a pretty good It was good three dollars. That is a pretty good And you good didn't game. have any perfumes. Because you can't have Christmas without one of these. It's the celebration tray thing. Cadbury's tray. No, it's a selection box. That's what, that was. that's what I meant, I couldn't get my words out. It's actually from, like, from England then. I don't know, it was from an import shop. I did buy it from an import shop. The fact that you get free Lego Land tickets makes me think that that's come from the UK. Because why would they be giving out Lego Land tickets? Thank you. I will eat this today. Yes, yes, you will. Mm, when did you buy this? It was a secret. <laughs> Where did you get this? From the shop. We went you know, the last day. And got yeah. It. When you and went off exploring and you weren't buying the friendship bracelet with the rest of us. It's a dinger. Oh, where's he, this been? He's got, he's got a name as well. If you look at his little tag. My name is Mac. <laughs> Do you know why he was called Mac? No. Mackenzie Lake. Oh. oh, guys, I've got a dingo! Travel buddy. He can, I hope I don't lose him. Don't lose him. Where has he been living? He's for the been last suffocating few weeks? in the bottom of my bag. <laughs> now you're gonna suffocate in mine. But not with the new flight mode compression. For just two ninety nine. <laughs> a ball. It's because you can't fit a football in your bag. Ball. Yay. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> this is a good gift. <laughs> Oh, it's massive. That's pulled up. Okay. She was kid. so upset about losing her last one or being stolen by Sophie. Uh -huh. It's actually surprising how often you need a sewing kit when you're backpacking. And it comes with buttons and safety pins. And that is a really handy gift. Thank you. Cards? Yeah. Uno. Flip. Flip the deck, change the game. Oh, wow. Uno with a twist. Double. It's another one for today. I was thinking Christmas Day, what are we going to be doing? We're gonna be playing Uno Flip. That sounds really fun, actually. Is this empty? Oh, this is the gift. Yay! I know you like your digestive. I love a digestive. Thank you. I've not had digestive since we got to Australia yeah. not once. Oh. It's a wombat. Is it? Yeah. What do you mean, is it? It's so cute. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. With no, it. no, because we have to put them on our backpacks. That's the rule. This is our last gift. Thank you. I wonder what this is. A big gift. It's a big surprise. I'm actually bloody buzzing about this. I'm joking, but I'm so excited. Clothes. How cute. I'm going to wear this tomorrow. This is my Boxing Day outfit. Followed by a tennis skirt that I'm going to wear because we also bought ourselves tickets, to be fair, kind of as a Christmas present, to the Australian Open in January. So I'm going to turn up to the Australian Open looking like I'm about to play at the Australian Open. And that that was my aim, actually. Thank you. It's all right. Do you want your last gift? Yes, please. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Oh, I do know what this is. Oh, it's my shorts. Oh, Yay. thank you. Clothes, save to last. Perfect. Zippy pocket shorts. Just what I wanted. Thank you. Mm, you smell like SJ. 
shit. I have a taste test, so you do a quick taste test, see if it's British chocolate or not. Chocolate here does not taste the same. Is that English or is it Australian? It's English. As you can clearly see, this is a different time, but I wanted to insert this clip because this is Tom's foot. Oh, sorry. I didn't actually explain the situation, but basically, if you've watched my channel for a while, you guys might know my friend Liv Rook. She actually used to be on YouTube herself. She is not anymore, but if you've watched for a while, you'll know I mean. Uh, she's actually been living in Australia for a couple of months now. She's been here since the summer, and we are spending Christmas Day with her. I didn't explain that because I explained it in like my weekly vlog of Byron Bay, but I never really gave that any reference in this vlog, and I kind of, when I was filming it, didn't know which video I was going to go up first. Liv is going to be in the onwards clips, but I never explained that but basically a while back we organized to spend christmas together because we thought it would be nice especially as Liv's traveling by herself and especially as she is literally one of my best friends and has been for the longest time and i thought when else do you really get to spend like christmas day with your best friends like when you're not at home that's so unusual because even if i saw my friends at christmas at home I still do that with my family like there would never be a setting where it was just me and my friends at christmas that's kind of what the plan was and she is in the vlog from this point onward so i thought i would put that in here and now you know we just did Christmas Day morning yoga, uh, which I didn't film, but it was just me, Tom and Liv in the yoga tent here at Wake Up. And um, it was quite enjoyable, actually. I quite enjoyed it. I feel very flexible. Tom feels like he can cross his legs now. Super stretchy. I've never started Christmas Day with yoga before, ever, ever in my life. But we're going to go and get some breakfast now. We're going to make some eggs and sausages. Do you feel really light? My legs feel like really, like they haven't been stretched like that for like 20 years. That's probably because you've never stretched in your life. Here we go. Christmas morning in the hostel, cooking up some breakfast. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you Liv's opening her gifts out of a Woolworths bag So this is me and Tom and Liv that have all got Woolworths bags for Christmas <laughs> Woohoo! Well there you go, now you've got one, bag for life Coke, no sugar, still has caffeine in though it turns out But you know, you learn something new every day I thought that, I thought we could do some tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it was these or the full size ones, but That's how I wanted one of these. Yeah, I've got a matching one. I thought we could have them on our bags and match. <laughs> Keith. Okay, sure. Keith the koala. Sure. Bit of a twist on a regular game of Uno. I am ready for a beachy Christmas day. I've got my bikini on that's not quite red, but the closest to red that I've got. Um, it has actually just kind of clouded over, which is not the vibes, but we're going to go anyway. Everybody from the hostel is down at the beach, and it was actually really good because last night was obviously Christmas Eve, and we went out and we actually met quite a lot of people that are staying in the hostel, because until this point, we've kind of been having a really chill time. We've not really been socialising, so we met loads of people last night. So now today, it's really nice because everybody's like, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and obviously, I am sort of missing home, but like, I'm trying I'm really hard in my head to just not think about it being Christmas at home and like I'm just using this as another day and it's used to have a different kind of Christmas to the Christmas I've had every year of my life in the UK but FaceTiming home did kind of make me realize like oh there is a little bit of me that would love to be there obviously but I made this choice to be here and I'm very lucky that I am here and I, I definitely am not taking that for granted but I think today was always going to be the hardest day but anyway I, I picked up the camera to say we're heading to the beach uh we're going to do some sunbathing we've got some card games we've got a little picnic so that we can have some food and we're just going to see what the vibe is really so an australian christmas tradition i was probably the most excited for was spending it on the beach i'm not really sure this would be the same vibe in the uk and although the weather wasn't the best it did kind of brighten up and improve as the day went on and everybody was just spending it in the sea surfing swimming we had a little picnic going on on a picnic blanket we were playing Uno, playing music. Honestly, it was so much fun. She's a beach girl. With you. Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring. Nobody loves you as much as I do. It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling. It is that time of the year. Drinking hot wine by the fire. Here on our own, we got nothing to fear It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend Pick up some candy cane 
Hello guys, it is about 3 p.m. Christmas day afternoon. If I was at home, I'd probably be watching the Queen right around now. Although it won't be the Queen this year, the King, sorry. But it doesn't feel like 3 p.m. and it doesn't feel like Christmas day, but I'm actually having a really lovely day. Tom and I were just saying, like, it's been actually so lovely and I was a little bit nervous in my head because I thought, what if it's one of those days where it's kind of built up to be like Christmas day, but then actually we're just spending the whole day feeling quite homesick. But I don't know about you, I haven't really felt like that yet. So I was just saying to you, I thought, I thought we would and definitely thought I would. Yeah. And uh, so far, I actually have loved today. It's and been really fun. To be fair though, Christmas Day at home hasn't actually started. So That's I think true. it's probably a bit easier because majority of today they've been asleep. Yeah. So like there's nothing, there's been nothing to miss. That is something um, that's quite good about being in Australia yeah. is that the time difference means that during the day when we're at our busiest doing all of our activities and stuff like that, the UK is asleep so we're not really missing anything and then obviously vice versa when everybody's busy at home, we're asleep so we don't know anything about it so I definitely think that works in our favour today. But yeah, we're gonna head back to the hostel now, we're gonna get a shower and then we're gonna get ready for tonight's barbecue which is of course their equivalent of a Christmas dinner. We haven't actually had that yet, we've had a picnic, we had a little picnic on the beach, we had crackers, we had crisps, Liv and I had some pasta, um, but the main like barbecue vibes, that's gonna be this evening at 6 p.m. So let me just show you what I'm looking at though. All you can really see for as far as the eye can see is like people laying on surfboards in the ocean, which is a pretty cool way to spend Christmas day in my opinion. We are watching the Polar Express on Christmas day now because we didn't watch it on Christmas Eve. I've also had a shower and washed my hair so I'm feeling fresh, tiny bit sunburned, but fresh. I think it's the first time I've ever got sunburned on Christmas day before. Do your best impression. <laughs> Christmas outfit is on. We've got the red summery dress. This is from Stradivarius. Tom is in the bed behind me. We are about to head out for the wake up barbecue. Now, I've actually already mentioned this, but I think that it's gonna be in my weekly vlog from like the Christmas week here in Byron Bay. But we are staying at Wake Up Hostel at the moment and they have really kindly discounted us this room over Christmas, which was just incredible of them and so amazing. And they've also hooked you guys up with a discount code. So if you're looking at staying here in Wake Up, up in Byron Bay or in Wake Up in Sydney, you can use the code MOLLY10 and that's going to give you 10% off both of their hostels here in Sydney and in Byron Bay. And I know that a lot of you guys watch these vlogs as like inspiration for your own trip and 10% off is a great saving when you're backpacking, trust me. But they also have a load of Christmas activities going on all across this week from like the 22nd all the way through to New Year. We actually leave on like the 26th, 27th during the night, we're getting an overnight bus. So we were doing like five days across Christmas here in Byron Bay with them and the Christmas barbecue was one of the things I was most excited for because it's a really great way to spend Christmas with other people in the same boat because what I kind of didn't want was for Tom and I to be just like sitting by ourselves on Christmas day because that would kind of probably make me feel a bit homesick whereas this is a really good like social event quite a social activity where everybody that is staying in this hostel has the chance to like mix mingle have some food have a proper barbecue done by other people and yeah, basically I just thought it was a great idea. So we're gonna head to that now. It starts at 6 p.m. And I think it's gonna be a good vibe. We're gonna take some card games. I've got a bottle of rosé. It's gonna be kind of as close to a regular Christmas afternoon as possible. Card games, wine, food. Different food, but food still. And yeah, hopefully I'll last. It's the first cracker. I've never seen a cracker. I've never seen a cracker that small. It's, I would say it's for a child, but I think it's even smaller than child size. Ready? Wait, no, you've got to do one with love at the same time. That's how they work. Sorry. Just me changing my sim, like no. a drug dealer. Just slip it under a second sim in her phone. <laughs> the reality of backpacking though, guys, is that your sim just will plays all, no, all, all the time. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Why did you do that? Funny. Thank you very much. Oh, I call it vlog. Vlog? This one's for you. <laughs> Three, two, two one. Oh yes, he didn't win both of them. You managed to beat him at some end. <laughs> Tom's won all the card games today, but there's time to redeem it. Who's the one rubbish? All is in us too, all the games. You too. Great, thank you. Okay, so intrigued great. about what's actually in these, because what can you possibly fit in something that size? I think it's literally just a pattern out. On a joke, yeah. stickers, okay, yeah. yeah. These cost me $2.50, which is you about £1.25. You ready for the joke? Go on, yeah, read the joke. Ready for the joke. What the vampires sing on New Year's Eve? Oh, let me have a think about this. Yeah, there's an answer in here. Who's a famous vampire? Mm -hmm. Elder. Is it about Dracula? No. It's a play on the name of the song. Why are we so dumb? I think cool. it's getting what? <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Old Fang Sim. Old Fang Zine. Uh, and that's a New Year's. Oh yeah, for New Year's Eve. Whoops. Yeah, <laughs> Can we do this one? Yeah. I want to get a hat. Oh, you 
one again. Oh, Pounder. everybody, everybody knows this one. Are you ready? What do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? Uh, frostbite. Frostbite. Who is Santa's favourite singer? Mariah. <laughs> no, that's Mariah. probably his least favourite. Elvis. Elvis. I think I've had that one before. Wait. Oh, it matches the dress. Oh, I wanted a red one. This could be a thumbnail. <laughs> Just looks good. It looks good, it smells amazing. So then it was barbecue time. This was the highlight of the day, I'm not gonna lie. And credit to Wake Up, somehow they managed to do a barbecue for around about 200 people, which was just insane. And actually the food was so good. I had a veggie burger, I had a free beer. And as you can see, there was a lot of people here. So the atmosphere was actually really, really good. Australian Cadbury's that we definitely don't have in our... These are like heroes? Why are you like looking at the packaging of like all the individual ones from like the 80s? I know, I know. Yeah, look at that font. That font is giving back to the future. We have to try this, I don't know what that is. I will try it, but like... I reckon it's probably got some kind of caffeine in it. Oh, like a Mars bar? Come on. That's not a Mars bar. Well, it's like a Milky Way. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe that's what it is. We've got some Australian ones in here as well. Cherry Ripe. That's not for me. No, thank you. Oh, Turkish Delight. Oh, these are a really odd mix. But we need four quads each. Who's doing this? I think it was way slower. Okay. Guys, we spent so much of the evening playing spoons and if you've never played it before, I don't know how to explain it, but it gets so competitive, so violent, and it honestly went on for ages, guys. This provided a lot of entertainment. <laughs> Australia, be like, what is it then? Do we know? How many spikes are we? Oh my, my legs are numb. How I feel at the moment. Just be. Has anyone for sure that it's not a poisonous one? Yeah, it's not. Are we sure? How are we getting rid of it? We are going to the beach because the hostel like common areas close at 10 so we're heading down to the beach anything you see after this will be filmed on a phone because the sand keeps really messing with my camera and the lens is like sticking so bad so we are having the best night i may have had an entire bottle of wine you know it's christmas like these things happen christmas. but yeah we're gonna head down to the beach also guys we have to be up in five hours we're doing a sunrise hike on boxing day Woo! Pretty much as soon as we headed down to the beach, somebody somehow started a bonfire. I didn't actually see where this came from. I just turned around and everyone was sitting around a campfire. So this was very wholesome, very nice. I think there was a guitar as well. Um, but yeah, that was a lovely way to end the evening. And I was pretty ready to go to bed by the end of this. This concludes the Byron Bay Christmas vlog. Tom is actually in the bed here at the side of me. We have headed down to Sydney for New Year now. So the next vlogs that are going to come, I have a Byron Bay weekly vlog from like Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, all of the like week around Christmas. The next place we're heading to is Sydney. So that is a spoiler, but I think you guys probably knew that. But this concludes Christmas Day. I was pleasantly surprised and Tom said this as well, didn't you? I did. Because we were a little bit apprehensive about what it would be like spending Christmas away from home. To be honest, I really didn't know how I would feel like generally when I'm busy when I'm happy when I'm having a good time I don't get homesick but I did sort of think Christmas Day is one of the days where I'm gonna spend the whole day comparing it to what I would be doing at home and I did sort of do that like all day I was like oh what would I be doing at this point what would I be doing at this point but I was never really sad about it because I felt like I was just surrounded by the best company I saw us playing card games that group of people was a collection of new people we met that night but also a few people that we met on say Fraser Island a few people we met at the party the night before Australia is such a social place to travel that even if you're solo traveling you're never really alone and i think that that's the great thing about doing a hostel at christmas like i was thinking this earlier and i was saying this i don't think i would have wanted to be in like a hotel for christmas just tom and i because we'd have really lost that social aspect to it so i want to shout out wake up wake
wake up were incredible. It was the best place to spend Christmas. We had a really lovely day, a really chilled out couple of days, just on the beach, in the surf, playing card games, just like vibing, to be honest. We weren't really doing too much and that was exactly what we needed. So I hope you have enjoyed this slightly different Christmas day vlog. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you're thinking about spending next Christmas here in Australia or just generally traveling and away from your family, I would say take the plunge because think about how many Christmases you have in your traditions in your routine if you're looking at taking one maybe two maybe even three years out of that in the scheme of your life that is not that much and it's really quite nice to experience a different sort of christmas a hot kind of christmas it's very very different to anything i've ever known so i'm glad i've done it to be honest but yeah if you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and i shall be back very soon on my channel with a weekly vlog from my festive week in byron bay around christmas so i shall see you then bye bye